Okay, so what the hell's going on in this game? Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. The hell, dude. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Well... Hmm. Oh, shit. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? It can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. What the hell? Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's Why right. Why is there? Nathan Prescott is going down. The hell? Why are there two moons? The fuck? Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. He's so Nathan drunk. is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so <laughs> I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just <laughs> one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. <laughs> Heck. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. <sighs> I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <laughs> Bye, Warren. <laughs> Enjoy your drinking ass, so. <laughs> he's so wasted. <laughs> One half a beer and he's wasted as hell. Nathan. 
And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. I still haven't seen Nathan. I promise to let you know. To <laughs> hell. Oh, we're at the pool? What the heck? Jeez. Dances? Oh, okay. I was like, the heck? Can you and Brooke flirty? Right on. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you here then? So, why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Dan. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? What the heck? That's kind of cool. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise. Oh. Kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse Except. gave you superpowers. <laughs> Check to see if you can fly. Double win. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Yes, Max makes an entrance. <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. Yeah. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Yeah. Uh, I know. I'm I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. <laughs> For Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale brain. I'm taking Brooke to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, the more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. <laughs> no one okay. seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has these. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Oh, shit. Melissa, incoming! I'm on it. Oh, this. My object angel has stepped up every single time. Protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Maps. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. <laughs> yes, I I'm back. 
You scared me for a sec. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. I actually want to see what else, uh... I'm surprised that Blackwell was having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and they can party. Okay. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. I saw that the video got taken down, so I, I hope nobody posts it anywhere else. Is that naive? Look how fast people here forgot about Kate. They'll find some new Blackwell drama and forget about her video. So it goes. Look at this. I'm at my first and only <laughs> Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. <laughs> Even if I hate most of them. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. Yeah. She must know I punch her in the face. I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. <laughs> I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kinda are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. Tell me, sure. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke. So don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a one, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. <laughs> thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. Thanks again, Max. Now, I can enjoy this shitty party. <laughs> now, is warning her over and over again like a good thing? Because I hope so. Because I've been warning her every time there's something bad happening to her. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. So, we're going to keep going. Sorry, Trust me, dude. You're not missing anything. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do something. <laughs> Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. Yeah. I just want to Victoria talk to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Hmm. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. God, are you mental? You can't come in. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Hmm. Oh, thank God. What are you doing in here? Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. I can drink more later. Not anymore. Super Max lives. <laughs> Why isn't this graffiti? Let me look at it. Bro. I'm not in the mood, but still. This could be an interesting shot. <laughs> That's funny. Justin's just a little buzzed. Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. <laughs> Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, 
Have you seen, seen Nathan? Yeah. Have you seen? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore Tex club. Whore <laughs> Tex. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. <laughs> you okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. <laughs> the heck, Justin? Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. No, seriously, I'm out of here. Oh, and everything isn't so fuzzy. Ew. Hello? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Gross. How did this even get here? Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> the only one who has to get sick. If you don't wrap it up, we're coming Chloe in must be around. The tide is turning. Hmm. Okay. So there's no more clues in here. So how do I get into the? Can I? Uh... Did I put my name on the list? At some point, I mean... So what do I do now? Thanks again, Max. Now, I can enjoy this shitty party. Yeah. Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> oh my god, DJ, you don't check me out. Party, you're not cool. Yes, you. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's too funny. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have? Kill the music. Uh <laughs> Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Let's see. Happy to go. Let's see. Or cool. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on the loop. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge porn or something. <laughs> the Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. No more bodies. I'm glad Dana ended up with Trevor. <laughs> Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. How's the end of the world going? Great! This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. 
for Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. Yeah. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich. And rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need Ugh. any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. <laughs> I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. I think if you're not going to very shake powerful, after me, we'll have to talk we'll after see. I do. Victoria, your picture so has to win. Yeah, that would be wicked. Uh, did you hear something? Can I talk to I'm you for a second? I'm trying not to. No. Oh, oh I no. guess. Real have you seen enough. Nathan? The hell? You can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than dad, <laughs> and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Don't you ever want to see him? You're so cute. <laughs> Talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. Damn. Don't make me hurt. Damn. That was way more exciting than the dance. Catch you later, Max. Here's the queen bee. Sorry, okay. Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. <laughs> Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? It's so she laggy. She killed herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but... Nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Jefferson, we have talent, yeah. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's That's brutal, yeah. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either. That's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Not enemies, I mean. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Yeah. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's going to happen, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so curious. Uh, the dark room. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable. We'll see what happens. He did drug Kate that part so he could take her son to the dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? 
That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has a little meltdown. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint. Yeah. And I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Rockwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks. And I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Okay. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. Okay, so... If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um... Text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Okay, cool. Let's hope she actually listens to what I have to say, because that's good, really, because she seems nicer in a way. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. Son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. Kayla really shows her vortex of <laughs> spirit. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. How has Nathan been scary? Yeah. I've always thought he was a creeper. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anything. Is this why you want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Why did you come tonight? Yeah. Membership dues? Don't laugh, but I had a weird vibe this might actually be the last vortex club party. End of the world, right? I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody is looking out for her. How long? Give me a break. Surprise, Hayden was trashed. He would dose his own drink first before anybody else. What's up, Hayden? Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> sky. It's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dang OG butts, <laughs> so I can barely see you. Or these hotties next to me. No. I want to find me. <laughs> me too. He's supposed to be bringing some special party uh -oh. food. Uh-oh. The party you actually planned a party. party. Not this week. So has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or you could sit down and take a quick hit. Hayden. Does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club parties? What doesn't he pay for? The Prescott's shit <laughs> money. How else could we afford DJ Doomsday to spend? The Prescott family is literally making you dance. Whatever. Yeah. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just yes, want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? 
Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Hmm. Okay. I think I talked to everyone. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binge it. Oh good. Chloe's here. Well, she obviously didn't find Nathan. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely uh -oh. not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Oh. Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. I have such a bad feeling about him. For real. I don't know. He's just... He's weird. Okay, okay. Everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I thought... I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph, and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy, and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. Hmm. And the winner is. I wonder who it'll be. Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh my god! Hmm. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. Hmm. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Wow. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. <laughs> Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, that seems suspicious as hell. Anyways, um, that's it this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. So, in the last episode, we found out that Rachel's actually dead and buried in, uh, the junkyard. We found out that Victoria actually listened to us in our warning. And that one, that video's gonna be warning of flashing lights because it was like a lot of flashing lights to the point it was giving me a headache and I know people have epilepsy and flashing lights can cause a uh what you call it a, a trigger so I'm gonna put up a warning on that one because it seems right to do but yeah I mean Nathan's not here and I just have a bad feeling that something weird is going on with the teacher and Victoria and I feel like Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Uh oh. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. I thought we were going to the dormitories. The hell? And how the hell are there two moons? And one of them just disappeared. Do you see that? The hell? Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. 
Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. It's so dark as hell. So Nathan buried her at uh, the graveyard, I guess. Finally, I can move. God, it's so creepy here at night. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Why would he even be here? I mean, wouldn't he be at the uh, uh, what's called basement in the barn? Rachel. Where'd she go? God, I wanna fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're young. Oh, there she is. Please. I'm trying to follow her because I don't know where I'm going. This place is so dark. Max, please hurry. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, <gasps> shit. Holy crap, Chloe. dude. Look out. What the fuck? Oh. I can't rewind, can I? I hope I can fix this, because unless that's supposed to happen, I mean... Um... Uh, mm. mm. Shit. Okay, so I should have kept going then. Oops. So this is a short episode. Well, I sh guess I should have put this with the other one, huh? And just made it one long episode. Well, damn. Why did I have a bad feeling it was him? What the hell, dude? Then he drugged me, and it's like... <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna find a way to cut my videos together. I gotta find, like, a program and just cut these three together to one video because yeah I mean I messed up anyways it was all supposed to be like one episode cut into two and I accidentally hit stop on the other one so we're gonna let the uh, credits play and see what happens Oh, oops. I guess I can skip the credits. Okay, cool. So, 57 p people said yes. 43 said no. Uh, you let w Warren beat up Nathan, so 60% stopped him. Uh, no one got hurt, which is good, because I didn't want Frank to get killed. But Victoria believed me. User um, entered your channel. Shit, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick. So, how come people didn't figure out his pin code? Thirty six percent only did. What the heck? Yeah, 
that's it for this episode. So, bye guys.